Hello, I'm John Mamias, executive producer at CD Projekt Red in Warsaw. And today, this is our first Dev Diary uh, for The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings on Xbox 360. We'll be talking a lot about the new features that are going into the game. And I'll explain a little bit about the fact that the 360 is actually an adaptation from the PC title and not a simple port. What we mean by adaptation is to effectively rebuild the game so that it feels native to the console. We've rewritten the renderer and created a new rendering pipeline so that we can achieve much better performance with the same fidelity as in the PC version. We're also implementing a new intelligent camera system, new controls, a new targeting system, and a more console-friendly user interface. We're also adding significant new content and other features. We took special effort to beef up the game for, uh, you know, for the Xbox release. We're in this uh, great situation where we already had the, the game out there and people experienced it and we have a lot of uh, community feedback and we want to put all this into, into this game and make it better. Uh, especially it's it's very complex story, we want, we want everyone to understand it. That's why we beefed up the, the especially the final chapter of the game, we've put in some additional events, additional sub-quests, so that the story develops in the way we've imagined it like the first time. In our game you take a role of the Witcher and the Witcher is like a professional monster slayer. He's a, like a hired mercenary but trained specially to finding monsters. He's like the ultimate warrior in this world. Uh, he was taken as an infant you know by other Witchers and he undergone a lot of uh, mutations and uh, you know very uh, hard training so that right now he's like the ultimate killing machine. You're not just some any witcher, you're Geralt of Rivia. And Geralt of Rivia is a character with its own story, with its own background. Uh, he's a guy that was, is famous in the Northern Kingdoms, but for some reason he died and everyone thought he was dead, but now he's back among the living. But the circumstances of his return are like, you know, clouded with mystery because he, he has amnesia and he forgot, you know, how he came back. When Geralt uh, faces the assassin who takes the life of one of the most important kings of, uh, of the North, uh, is the moment where like uh, your your past uh, gets to you, and it's like it's the beginning of your journey. In addition to an epic story, the game um, features complex combat system that combines intense dynamic action with tactical choices. You can combine different character abilities and character customization with real-time moves such as parry, dodge, uh, repost. You can also choose from a variety of um, tactical options. Uh, you can use alchemy, uh, traps and bait, you can throw bombs at your opponents, you can use different ranged weapons, you can use magical signs or magic, uh, you can also sneak and uh, deal non-lethal blows, non-lethal attacks to your foes. Since we started to work on the adaptation of The Witcher 2 on consoles, we already knew that we had to put a lot of work to make user interface fit more uh, to the gameplay style of the consoles. That's why we gathered a lot of information from our fans uh, from the PC version of the game and we included this knowledge to our work. We are also uh, including a lot of new improvements, like to, to give an example, a special, totally new uh, targeting system which allows you to select easily a proper enemy. We want to improve uh, controls uh, in our game in terms of combat and outside of it, because it's really important matter for us to have a game fluid and smooth in those areas. That's why we decided to rewrite whole controls code from scratch and the same is with camera system. The Witcher 2 runs on our own technology called Red Engine. We decided to develop it because we wanted to achieve unlimited uh, creative and artistic freedom. We wanted to give our designers and uh, artists tools to create the world of Witcher just the way uh, they seen it. The combination of a unique art direction and a powerful engine such as the Red Engine really helps in creating a more defined environment that both looks and feels unique. The Witcher 2 will be one of the best looking titles to come out to Xbox 360. It's important to note that everything we're doing for the Xbox version will also be delivering for the PC version. And there's some important new additions and enhancements that we haven't talked about today that we'll be announcing later in the year.